So finally, what we want to do is to get some input from the user, and this is where we have the text fields. Okay. So as before, we need a way of connecting up these text fields to our code. So we need to head on over to the header file, okay, and uh, like before, we created an outlet for this label. So we need to create outlets for these UI text fields. So again, control, click, drag, and this time put it under the label. Okay, so we want an outlet. Um, what we're going to do is uh, put some numbers, put a number in each of these text fields and then add them up and then put the sum into the uh, the label. So we'll call this text field number one and you leave this at strong. Okay, that's number one. Control, click, drag. And we'll call this number two. Connect. Okay, so we've got two UI text fields one called number one, another one called number two, and they're both IB outlets. Head on over to the .m. Okay, they've been synthesized, and Xcode has set them, put this these two lines of code in for us. Now, what, what we want to happen is we want to do these calculations when the person hits change text okay so the code to do that to take the number from each text add it and then put the result into here needs to go in this method okay change text method all right so after here the first thing we need to do is when the person types of a number into this text field here, we need to somehow grab that value, okay, and and put it into uh, another variable, okay. Now numbers, whole numbers, are integers. So within uh, C and Objective C, the languages that we're using, the integer, an integer variable, can be uh, declared by simply saying int and then giving that integer variable a name. Now let's just call it num1. So in this case we're going to set or we're going to put the value of this into this integer variable called num1. Okay, So we need to have a way of getting the value getting the thing that's inside this text field. So we know that the, the text field is called number one. So like before we start with self dot and as we type you can see UI text field it knows Xcode knows that we've declared two text fields one called number one and one called number two. So we can select number one hit the enter button we want the text inside the text field, so we can select that. So that will that will get the text that's inside the text field. But the text that in, is inside a text field is text; it's not a number. So even though you might type in number two, the computer thinks that that two is simply text. It doesn't know it is a number. So we have to convert the text into a number and luckily te uh, UI text fields have a very easy way of converting uh, text into integers and uh, floating point numbers which are numbers that have a decimal place okay so we can go text int value okay which is a, a way of converting um, the the number that you type in as text into a real integer value. Okay, so we end that with a semicolon. So the text that is inside the, the number one text field will be converted into an integer value, 
and then assigned to this uh, integer variable called number one. Now this warning here that is, that is given is simply saying that you've you haven't done anything with num1 yet. Okay, so we can do the same for the second text field. Declare another integer value. We'll call it num2 equals self dot number two this time, which is our second text field. Get the text from that, and then the integer value from that. Okay. And we forgot the little semicolon at the end. Okay. Now there's two different ways of adding these two numbers up. Okay. Um, you could create a third integer value called sum equals num1 plus num2. Okay, so that would add num1 and num2 together and put them into a third integer variable called sum. Okay, that's one way to do it. And the second way to do it is um, a way of combining two different methods, and we're gonna we're gonna do that now. So ultimately, we want to put the sum of those two numbers into this label. Okay, so we say self dot my label dot text equals now this bit you won't have seen before and a string string with format Okay, now let me explain what that's doing. Um, what we haven't discussed yet is uh, classes and instances of classes. So NS string is a class which is essentially like a car. Okay, so if you have a, a Ford Focus, okay, that's a type of car. Now, my Ford Focus might have um, uh, 17 inch wheels. Your Ford Focus might have 15 inch wheels. They're both cars, okay, but each one has slightly different attributes. Okay. So NS string is a, a class that that um, that um, allows us to format strings, which are strings of, of characters, a string of characters, words, okay. Um, so NS string is the class that allows us to uh, manipulate string variables, string objects. Okay. In other words, ways of um, putting two words together, or finding the first letter of a word, finding the last letter of a word. Okay. So there's a, a bunch of methods inside this class that we can use, and one of the, those methods is string with format. Uh, and what that means is it's a way of combining words, strings, and numbers, which is what we want to do, because we want to say the sum of num1 and num2 equals our sum, whatever is in this variable. Okay, So we have to have a way of putting this number back into word format. And the way we can do that is with a special symbol, percent %i, and the i stands for integer. Okay. You'll notice that after the inverted commas, there's, there's a comma, and then whatever you want this to be replaced with needs to go in here. Okay. So whatever is inside the sum variable will be put where this percent %i is. Okay. So if we save that, and run it. Okay. Now if I put my cursor in here, the keyboard comes up and I can put in a number 2 and then I can put in a number 2 Okay, and then if I hit change text 
we get this here. The sum of num1 and num2 equals 4. So it's added this value here, which is the text, the integer conversion of the text in number one UI text field. Added that to number the integer value of the text in number two field. Added those two together, put the sum of those two in this variable here, and then we've replaced this um, symbol here with the value of sum, which is four. So if we did five plus five, change text equals 10. Okay. Now we've used addition here. If we did a star symbol, that represents multiplication. So if we run the application again, we got two and three. Okay. We haven't changed the words, of course, but 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so we could do num1 times num2. So 2 times 4. Num1 times num2 equals 8. Okay, and uh, so that just about sums up everything that we did in class today. Um, so that gives you enough, I think, to to work on um, uh, dragging out interface elements onto your view, uh, connecting up those interface elements to the header file okay, via drag and drop. So connecting up outlets and connecting buttons with an action and then within those methods okay so this is a complete method here within that method actually writing some code that will change things so allow the user to both input values and to push a button and get a result uh, or clear the text from um, from the label okay so uh, Next session, we'll get uh, more into um, pure coding, I guess, and manipulating variables um, and working with um, if statements, so controlling the flow of your code um, and various things like that. Okay, see you later.